In this video, we are going to talk about the Comcast stock. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Comcast stock hasn't had a lot of success with breakouts in the past. That isn't to suggest that the CMCSA stock hasn't had a terrific run. The stock of Comcast, CMCSA, increased 32% in 2019, largely in line with the S&P 500. However, when compared to cable TV firms Charter Communications, CHTR, and Altis, Alti, Comcast shares underperformed in 2020. Comcast is the largest cable television business in the United States, and it also controls NBC Universal and Sky in the United Kingdom. On June 23, CMCSA stock dropped on reports that it was in talks to buy Roku, Roku, or ViacomCBS, VIAC. CMCSA stock buyback returns. However, according to a report by Bank of America, Comcast resumed its stock buyback program on May 26, making a significant acquisition improbable. Comcast is expected to spend $3 billion on stock buybacks in 2021, according to BOFA. The 2021 Summer Olympic Games are likely to bolster NBCU and the new Peacock-branded video streaming service. Even though Japan is dealing with a fresh coronavirus outbreak, the government still hopes to host the Summer Olympics, which would boost NBCU advertising revenue. Despite two large acquisitions, Comcast's high-speed internet services for families and businesses remain its most important growth driver. In May, CMCSA stock plummeted after AT&T, T, and Discovery, Disca, announced that their media holdings will be merged. Comcast's March quarter earnings and revenue surpassed Wall Street expectations, as the company added more broadband users than planned. Wireless business grows at Comcast. Comcast's wireless division had 3.1 million users at the end of the March quarter. In terms of earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, or EBITDA, it broke even for the first time. Comcast, on the other hand, lost 491,000 video subscribers in the March quarter, the most it has ever lost. Based on first quarter data, Oppenheimer analyst Tim Horan raised Comcast shares to outperform. In a letter to clients, Horan wrote, CMCSA's growth potential is better across each segment coming out of COVID. Due to broadband, cable's performance has remained stable, while revenue growth and margins for wireless and business services are beginning to improve. NBCU's recovery has been faster than predicted, with advertising and content development ramping up quickly. Sky is on the mend, with sports returning and the advertising market in the United Kingdom gaining momentum. CMCSA shares had a rocky start in early 2020, as its full-year free cash flow forecast fell short of expectations due to investments in NBCU and Sky. Then there was the coronavirus epidemic. The COVID-19 epidemic has sparked concerns about theme park attendance, NBCU film studio earnings, and Sky's future prospects. Raymond James analyst Frank Louthan expects Comcast to benefit from the start of COVID-19 vaccines in 2021. We expect that high-speed digital, broadband, strength, peacock subscriber growth, increased theater revenue, and phased theme park reopenings over the course of the year will provide NBCU with upside, he wrote in a note. Comcast's broadband business, on the other hand, is facing fresh problems. CMCSA stock. What is Hulu stake worth? Comcast stock has already closed much of what had been a valuation gap versus Peers Charter and Altis, thanks to a late 2020 breakout driven by internet services and encouraging vaccine news. In the face of a move to remote work and at-home study, all three companies saw strong growth in internet services. However, CMCSA stock faces other difficulties, including the debut of its Peacock-branded video streaming service and the development of wireless services. The Peacock service could benefit from NBCU material that is already available on Hulu, a Disney-owned joint venture. Hulu is owned by Comcast, which owns a 33% share. According to an agreement, Disney will buy out that interest by 2024 or sooner. Analysts estimate that the share is worth $10 billion to $15 billion. We have an exit opportunity in a couple of years, Chief Executive Brian Roberts said at a March 3 financial conference, and that's going to produce, is producing real value for Comcast shareholders, which I'm not sure whether it's reflected in our price or not in the stock. 
Comcast has 2.8 million consumer wireless subscriber lines at the end of 2020. It's possible that wireless services will be extended to small enterprises. Fundamental analysis of the CMCSA stock. One question is whether Comcast, which is controlled by the Roberts family, will continue to make acquisitions. Analyst Stephen Cahal of Wells Fargo ranks Comcast shares as underweight. Free cash flow has been a crucial measure for cable TV businesses since the days of cable industry pioneer John Malone at Telecommunications Inc. Even though it continues to lose video subscribers, Comcast's cable division generates the majority of free cash flow. Consumers are shifting to on-demand internet streaming services, yet video streaming still requires internet access. As a result, the expansion of broadband services has been a bright area. Comcast is also expected to implement mid-single-digit pricing increases for both video and broadband services in 2021, according to experts. NBCU had been dealing with continuous changes in the entertainment industry even before the coronavirus outbreak. Advertising is continuing to move away from broadcast television and toward the internet and mobile platforms. Comcast has consolidated its cable and broadcast networks, as well as its Peacock streaming service, into a single reporting entity. Comcast had 30.06 million broadband users as of September 30, including both homes and businesses. That was an increase of roughly 12% from two years ago. Comcast's video subscribers totaled 20 million, down 9% from two years ago. Despite COVID-19, Comcast's broadband business thrives. Adjusted earnings per share increased 7% year-over-year to $0.76 cents a share in the March quarter. The company's revenue increased by 2.2% to $27.20 billion. Comcast was anticipated to earn $0.59 cents per share on $26.72 billion in revenue, according to analysts. According to the firm, cable communications revenue climbed 5.9% to $15.8 billion. Revenue at NBC Universal declined 9% to $7.02 billion. NBCU's revenue was expected to be $7.23 billion, according to analysts. NBCU's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, or EBITDA, dropped 11.8% to $1.49 billion, beating analysts' expectations of $1.28 billion. Sky revenue increased 2% to nearly $5 billion in the Comcast quarterly report, compared to expectations of $4.58 billion. Comcast announced a net gain of 461,000 broadband subscribers, exceeding projections of 394,000. The company lost 491,000 video subscribers, compared to expectations of 418,000. Meanwhile, Comcast gained 278,000 wireless users, compared to expectations of 226,000. In addition, Comcast announced that 9 million people had joined up for its new Peacock-branded, ad-supported television streaming service. As of March 31, the new Peacock streaming service had 42 million members, compared to 33 million at the end of 2020. Comcast expands into wireless and video streaming services. Comcast competes with Verizon, T-Mobile US, TMUS, and AT&T in wireless services. Telecom firms are among the large cap technology stocks to keep an eye on and perhaps acquire. Disney, AT&T's HBO, Netflix, NFLX, and other video streaming services compete with Peacock. Analysts say a recently inked relationship with Roku is a boost for the Peacock service. Roku's stock has risen as the company establishes itself as a major player in the streaming space. One key question is how quickly theme parks can recoup their losses while operating at lesser capacity and with fewer guests. In early February, Comcast unveiled its $580 million Super Nintendo World attraction in Japan. Beijing is planning to develop a theme park in 2021. Technical Analysis of Comcast Stock Comcast came out of a new flat base on November 9 with a buy target of 47.60, after producing a massive cup and handle pattern earlier in 2020 and a new flat base in the fall. The stock of Comcast soared after the company reported record broadband customer growth in the third quarter. The stock of CMCSA has also risen as a result of the encouraging news about the coronavirus vaccine. Furthermore, CMCSA's stock has a de-accumulation distribution rating. 
The rating is based on a stock's price and volume fluctuations over the previous 13 weeks of trading. Is Comcast stock a good investment right now? Despite broadband expenditures and equipment upgrades, satellite TV operator Sky remains a show-me risk for investors. From a technical standpoint, the corporation continues to create bases on top of or next to one another but has yet to make a prolonged run. CMCSA stock is currently trading below an entry point of 58.69 from a cup base as of June 29. Some technical evaluations should be improved. Investors may want to consider investing in an S&P 500 index fund or an exchange-traded fund ETF. The latter two options offer greater profit potential without the danger of a single stock investment. The ownership of NBC Universal and Sky in the United Kingdom distinguishes CMCSA shares from its cable business counterparts. Investors interested in the cable industry may select pure plays like Charter or Altus, which are less diversified. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.